Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Business Every Day. Today in the workshop, we are going to be building a wall-mounted bottle opener. I have a stock piece of oak here, and I have purchased a number of these wall-mounted bottle opener little pieces of uh, stamped metal, and we are going to be adhering them together. Now, the focus of this video, actually, and my experimentation here in the shop, is not whether or not I can build one of these. The question is how to use Aura Mask. Now, I've seen through some of the online forums and people using this masking material so that they can paint um, their items. Now, you probably saw in my last video when I did the Tennessee cutout that I just used um, some painter's tape and even some gaff tape to mask off certain areas and then I have to do a lot of extra sanding. So supposedly this Aura Mask is a vinyl film that you can put over your piece of stock material and this will prevent you from painting or over the overspray. Now it's supposed to provide really clean lines because it is actually meant for vinyl stickers. It's fairly inexpensive. I got some off of Amazon and it showed up this week and I want to give it a try. So what I'm going to be doing is putting a engraving of Tennessee with the state and I will be doing a couple of different designs to hopefully figure out how to use this aura mask material properly in upcoming projects. So let's get into it. Here's our piece of stock material and here is our aura mask. And essentially, all that we're going to be doing is covering the full piece of material. Um, this will actually be cut off because I'm only going to make it 8 inches long. And then you do the same thing that you would on the X-Carve with, you know, setting your Z-axis, clamping everything down. But then, as it engraves, it is only removing material and the Aura Mask with the engraving. Now, this should leave the clean vinyl on the rest of the stock material so that when I come back with a rattle can and spray in those engraving lines it should be super super crisp and clean we're gonna find out I think that is good and stuck now what I've read is that you really want to work in the mask so that it will actually stick to your stock material uh, really good so we're going to clamp this thing down and we're going to give it a carve. See how this thing goes. Everything is zeroed. The machine is set. The aura mask is in place. It is clamped down, though I'm not using a ton of clamps on this one because it's a pretty flat piece of stock material and we're not putting a lot of work on this. So this should work out just fine. But let's get to carving and see how this mask works out. What do you think? In my opinion, that is pretty clean, the lines here. There's even around the E. I think I can clean that up with a razor blade pretty easily. So far, I'm impressed. Step one is gonna be using black to fill in all the letters, and then I think I'm gonna do a blue stripe in the middle of the Tennessee. Start with the black. Well, the paint isn't fully dry yet, but I actually want to remove the Aura Mask pre it fully curing. Uh, because then, uh, if there's any, I feel I just feel like I, I'm gonna my letters are going to peel less if I go ahead and peel it now. And so we're gonna go for the peel and see how this either is or isn't satisfying. <laughs> oh, so nervous. Uh, wow. Actually, I mean, there's definitely a little bleed through. I'm going to let this fully dry and then I'm going to hit it with some sandpaper and see if I can clean it up just a little bit. But 
we're well on our way. The next step is going to be attaching the bottle opener. All right, so let's got my screws, got my drill. Now we just need to find the center of this thing. It should be right, right there. Cool. Let's pre-drill. Just taking it real slow so I don't go all the way through the piece. We're not building a clock here, so I'm not going to be super concerned about it. And then I personally just like to hand tighten these types of things. I just feel like I have so much more control over how it goes in, how it looks, and whether or not it's going to strip or not. I can actually feel it versus my drill. <laughs> well, look at that. The question will be, do I add some mounting holes or do I just let them figure it out, whoever this is going to belong to? Well, there you have it. Another project in the books. And this one I am really proud about and satisfied with. And I'm going to be making a few more of these, probably even tonight. Uh, I'm going to cut to, the, to some of those projects at the end of this video. But uh, this project was to test out the Aura Mask vinyl covers in order for me to get these clean lines. And I gotta say, it worked really well. Better than blue tape, better than any sort of other masking tape that I've used. This Aura Mask film um, that's used for stencils turned out to work really, really well with a CNC engraving. Do I recommend this product? Absolutely. Am I sponsored by this product? Not at all. But if you're watching Wear a Mask, I would happily show off your product again. Um, but the clean lines that I got out of this, especially around like the E's in Tennessee, uh, very surprising on how clean these came out. And it was very easy to put on, very easy to put off. And I am very, very satisfied. So, I highly recommend the Aura Mask films. I just got mine off of Amazon. I think 30 feet, uh, that was 12 inches wide, was something like 12 bucks or 14 bucks or something like that. So, um, this was only 8 inches uh, by 3.5 and inches. And so, this was 3.5 and inches, which cost breakdown is like 5 cents, 6 cents, something like that. Anyway, that was well worth my time because then I didn't cover the entire piece with black. Um, and then have to sand it off and worry about it getting in the grain or anything like that or use a bunch of different blue tape or anything else. So this to me worked really, really well. Blown away by how well it actually worked and I will be using this in my builds for sure going forward. Thank you so much for joining in today's episode. I hope you guys stay safe, keep carving, and I'll catch you next time.